Okay, today I've got the Amakasi box from Fuster. Bi-monthly thing. I always look forward to it. Even though this is only the third box. But they always have some really great stuff in here. And this month is, uh, is I know it's got like Hatsunomiku and some Punkaloid stuff. So I've really been looking forward to it. And now I must hate to open it because they announced last week that this is the final box. They're going to close. So I really hate that because this was a really good box. And this is just the third one. I mean, everything seemed to be going great. But this is it. One, two, three, and they're done. So this is my last Omakase box unboxing. Unfortunately. But what are you going to do? Side there with little heads. So let's see what we got. Here's our card that tells us what's in here. Of course, Miku right there in the middle. You got a plush of some kind here. Oh, it's a little, it's a little Miku plush. I've seen some of these for uh, Love Live, but I didn't have the money to buy them. I don't have a lot of plush, I'd rather spend my money on figures, but, but I still like them. Amakasi exclusive. I feel like this company was so good. I, what happened, Buster? I mean, why, why are you taking this box away from us? I love this box. Here we have a Hatsune Miku comic anthology. Which reads left to right, which is sort of weird, because Japanese reads right to left, but of course this is not in Japanese, and actually there are no words in it apparently, except for people's names, so that's yeah, interesting. You got Luca, a bunch of, bunch of different people, it's not just me going here. So, yeah, who's that? She, I don't know her. She's pretty cute, though. I, I like her. Don't smell very good, but it is. And this is, I don't know what this is. I really don't know what that is. I thought it was a belt at first, but I mean, I, I, I would still be my first guess, but, uh, I'm going to have to read on that one. Oh, let's see. Here's some kind of poster, apparently. Uh, oh, yeah. It's that girl. I didn't know who she was. She's not as cute in this picture, but she seems to be thoroughly drunk. Maybe she was celebrating the new year or something. Mean Keiko, I don't know. Kathy K E I O. I might could make a K in the middle. I don't know what else would go there. Could be K O. I don't know. This, uh, we've got some kind of uh, this says Kato on it and Mako and Krypton. This is must be the stickers or what they are. But you can see uh, Hatsuna and Ren and Lin, I think, are on here. I don't, I don't really know much about them, but looks like we got a shirt, and that's their last item. Except for whatever just fell in my lap. Oh, part of the box. I don't hate when they put shirts in plastic. But then I have to open them, and they're all folded, and I can't fold them again. But I don't know what's on here. It says we love fine on the label. For fans by for fans by fans. Okay. 
guess I'm gonna tear this bag up. It doesn't seem to be a divider. It's obviously Miku, which is cool. I don't have any Miku t-shirts. Yeah, it's not bad. This isn't actually as good a box as the first two, but uh, of course it's the last box. I mean, it's still good stuff. But no, uh, the others have come with like special kind of little figures and things. So I thought I'd get some kind of little figure, but I got the plush, so that's okay. T-shirt's nice. I love, I love Hatsune Miku. You can't never watch Bogaloi. Or listen, you need to. And that's it. That's it for this last Omakase box. So. Okay, so this thing is the Ren and Lin belt and strap. Show your love for Ren and Lin with this with this signature belt and loop replica. Whether for cosplay or a musical night out, you can hit the town in proper Kagamini style. Pro tip, wear your belt right side up to sport Ren style or upside down for Lynn. So yeah, that's, that's a serious belt, man. You can walk. I would want to get whipped by this belt because, I mean, this is a big old, this is a big old heavy metal clasp up in here. I mean, that would not feel good. Uh, we've got our anthology. We got our Sunamiku Micro Squishable. High quality, super cute plushies of a squishable nature. Yeah, she's squishable. She's not. Yeah. I'll leave her in the bag for right now so she doesn't get messed up. And everything in here was an exclusive. So we had our poster was an Alex Ahod Mako poster. Apparently Mako is the character who started it all. I don't is she a voc she must have, maybe she was a vocaloid before Miku came along. I don't know. We got our Pony Melt, Miku and Friends sticker sheet. And the t-shirt was a Happy Mappy Miku shirt blue edition. When we first began work on Omakase, we created a prototype tee that only 100 people ever received of our favorite songstress bursting with color and motion. This exclusive blue edition of that fabled shirt is one of the prettiest designs we've produced. Rock it while you rock out. I don't know who got these 100 shirts. They must have sent them out randomly to people or something. I didn't get one of them. I got the first box. So, yeah, there we have it. The end of Amakasi. Thank goodness for loot anime. We still, have, we still have that at least. Even though I'm probably going to be skipping a month. Uh, going to be skipping a month for several boxes this month. So, so yeah, so that was it. I'm gonna miss this Amakasi tissue paper and these boxes. I really hate this company closed. If I don't get the company closed, I just close the box. Buster's still around, of course. But that's it. Three boxes from Amakasi. Great stuff. They will be missed. <laughs>